Well, I think that uh, we can say that the library market is possibly one of the largest sleeping giants in the publishing industry today. The size of the United States public market, library market is immense. There are over 9,000 public libraries in the United States, and there are 16,698 public library locations that serve people. We have 169 million public library users, representing 69% of the United States population. Last year, our research showed that we had about, in public libraries alone, this is not the K-12 market, this is not the academic library market. Library Journal learned that about $983 million were spent on books and 82% of American public libraries offer e-books. We wanted to talk in patron profiles and kind of sober it up. Lots of people have very warm, fuzzy feelings about libraries. They'll tell you about their first library card. And, and, and. But then when it comes to the point about talking to you about e-books, there's a big but, a big but. We do not want our ebooks in your library. So Library Journal decided that we needed to get very specific, very clear, very understandable information about our patrons. And we went to a company that we had a relationship with since the 19th century, Bowker. Bowker and Dewey founded Library Journal in 1876, after all. And we decided to seek out partners in the industry that were trusted and library friendly, Baker and Taylor, ProQuest, Random House, and Roman and Littlefield. When we did this, when we began this process over a year ago, we decided that we wanted to do a national -wide, nationwide trending survey of library consumers, not librarians, not library leaders, not library boards, library users. We decided that the best panel for us was to use the PubTrack consumer panel and the, the activity and the ability to do analysis uh, powered by market tools. We also work with the same team that you may be familiar with from the Book Industry Study Group. We work with Kelly Gallagher, Carl Kulo at, at Bowker, and Steve Paxia at Beacon Communications. We talked about what size of a, our sample we should have, so we settled on about 2,000 plus users each quarter. And this is a quarterly trending survey because we felt we would get the most value as we continued core questions throughout each of our, each of our four fieldings each year. This year we are focusing on the ebook market. So what did we learn? Let's meet the power patron. Library users we, we discovered this persona of the library power patron. That is a person who visits the library at least once a month, once weekly, excuse me, once weekly. They are the main drivers of much of the library's activity, which we call circulation. They are active, voracious consumers and buyers of all types of media, including ebooks. They vote at a higher rate than other patrons, and about 21% of these pa library patrons are power patrons. The power patron is 61% female. Her average age is 48. Her average income is 61K. She has 62% of our power patrons have a college degree or higher and 39% of our power patrons have kids under the age of 18. So what do they do with the library? They borrow books and media. Our power patrons, 65% of our power patrons, report that they borrow books and media. They browse shelves for books and media. They place holds on books and media, and they search the catalog for books and media. And these are prime discovery opportunities for content. The other thing we discovered, we had anecdotal information, but we had no real proof that there is a clear link between borrowing and buying. We know that our average library patron, shown in the blue bar, um, purchase about, they use the library to discover new content, but our power patrons at great, at great percentages, 35% use the library to discover new writers or try out genres, 37% purchased books previously borrowed from the library, and 
61% of our power patrons purchase books by authors whose works were previously borrowed from the library. So we also learned that library patrons are book buyers. For an average of, let's say, 26 books a year, they purchased 10. 26 books read a year, 10 purchased. So for almost every two books borrowed, they purchased an additional book. Two to one. What formats do library patrons read, use to read books? Well, certainly, they read e-books. Patrons consume across formats. You look at these numbers, sure, print is in the, in the lead, but e-books are gaining fast. And we also know that library users read across formats. Some of them report to us that they have actually begun a book as a print book, switched to an e-book, and may even listen to it as an audio book in the car. They also read more than the average individual. Our e-book users at, in public libraries report that they read 30 books a year. Now let's take a look at borrowing influences on book purchasing behavior. As I said before, this is an interesting thing that we gained, but when you add the blue bar that is the e-book user to the mix, it gets even more exciting. 23% of e-book users use the library to discover new genres. 32% uh, purchased a book specifically previously borrowed from the library, and 67% of ebook borrowers, self described ebook borrowers in the library, borrowed books, actually purchased books they borrowed from the library. So we have an untapped market here. And our, our data shows that in 2011, most libraries carry, public libraries carried an average of 4,000 ebooks. But patrons want more. 75% of our borrowers are public library power patrons, and our average users of public libraries decided that they want more, more, more content. Friction. This is a word we are hearing more and more and more. Today's theme, change forward fast. If you're a public librarian in the United States today, the excuse or the concern that we hear every day about more friction, slow it down, it's too easy to borrow books from e books from libraries. To us, that means change slowly at a glacial rate. And if I can return to my misspent youth, it translates into forward into the past. Um, Fire sign theater. So what we're concerned about is that this is a misplaced concern that library users are primary discovery points for content and are prime purchasers of media across formats. They are voracious consumers of medias and they live in a media-rich world. They will take their content any way they can get it. So today, as far as I'm saying, we feel friction is fiction. The takeaways for today, we want to let you know that the Library Channel has lots of money to spend. We want to let you know that libraries are ubiquitous. They are in a ubiquitous, proven delivery system for content. They are successful discovery zones and supporters of readers and literacy. They are a proven marketing engine for the content that you produce and license. We feel if you enter and stay in the public library ebook market, it will be a win, win, win. Please don't let the public library patron be the victim of friendly fire in the ebook wars. We have lots to do that we can do together to serve our readers and to serve our country. Thanks so much.